Hi guys, Ben here, Liverpool have just beaten Newcastle United by two goals to nil. It was the most routine of victories in the Premier League for Liverpool this season. Two goals to nil at home to a pretty mundane side. It wasn't the most exciting game of all time. It was uh, a game that we'll probably forget in a, you know, in a year or so's time. It's just very, very standard, uh, but you know you can have no complaints about that. This should be a great feeling. Um, the fact that we're coming into these games, I mean, it seems like not so long ago. I mean, I remember the Newcastle game two seasons ago. Um, we went into a 2-0 lead and we just blew away, um, drew 2-2, and that seems to be a, a recurring theme, uh, not just a couple of years ago, but even last season at times, but it just seems like it's been in Liverpool's DNA to play well in the first half, get a two-goal lead or whatever, happened against Sunderland, happened against Bournemouth, I recall, uh, Leicester, um, loads of occasions at Anfield where it's happened, we've blown it, but we seem to be just sort of getting these wins now, and I, in my preview I said I was kind of looking past this game and I uh, wasn't worried about it, um, and I had that feeling throughout the game, it was just very routine, very simple, and the Reds were not spectacular. I think the best player on the pitch for us was Jordan Henderson today. I thought he was really, really impressive in that number six role. Um, him and Chan both playing, you rarely see that. Um, but they kind of switched roles at times, uh, both sitting in when they needed to. But Newcastle provided no threat whatsoever. They, they came in to try and stay in the game and they conceded in the first half quite late on. They did well enough to uh, stifle us for 39 minutes and then Salah scores and it's... It's pretty much game over. We score a lovely second through Mane after some great work by Firmino, and um, we're back up to second again. So, I mean, great. This, this is just a great, a great period of time for Liverpool, and we've got Porto midweek, which will be a good, good fun night, and then Manchester United away. And that's the big one. That is the big tie uh, or the bit, the big fixture for the for the for the foreseeable. They've got Watford at home, so. Uh, what can you say? Liverpool were very good, and we made we made uh, made progress. Um, I'll do some player ratings. Carrius has very little to do. Obviously, um, Newcastle only have one shot um, that really troubled him, and, and he made a fantastic save right at the end of the first half. Um, it's, it's by no means a straightforward save. It's one that he might have struggled with in, in months gone by. But uh, off the back of that save from Arnautovic, uh last week, he makes this really important one um, from, I think it was Diame uh, in the first half. So, great. I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 just for that save and for his sort of distribution and speeding up play whenever he could. Um, no complaints for him. Trent also played really well. Um, I'll give him a 7. Got forward well. Didn't have a great deal of threat um, you know, on his side. I think most of the... Most of the problems they caused came down the opposite flank. Um, Lovren, eight. Um, thought he intercepted quite a lot of balls. Um, was alert to all the danger, even though there was very little danger. Van Dijk, eight. Again, just a colossus. Very little trouble with him. Just very composed. Some great long passing as well. Robertson, uh, seven. His delivery was okay. I don't think it was superb, but he spent most of his time playing left wing and then he was doing some of the entire stuff, so fair play to him. Uh, Henderson, um, man of the match for me, don't want to give him anything more than an 8 just because it wasn't a sensational display but I thought he controlled the game really well, um, didn't really put a foot wrong to be honest so maybe 8 is, is low but um, yeah really impressed with him on his comeback to the team. Emery Chan, 7, some inconsistent moments yeah, as you do often get with him but overall um, you know, was dominant in that midfield today. Oxlade-Chamberlain who, who got man of the match on BT, I'll give him an 8 out of 10 as well. Um, obviously he gets the assist for the first goal, some great driving runs, he does do, does do well to find some space at times and, and drive forward. One or two wrong decisions with the final ball, but the one that counted was the assist for Salah, which gave us the crucial opening goal. So again, very impressed with Oxo Chamberlain, and at the moment he's you know very much deserving of a starting place for the Reds. Uh, front three, uh, let's start with Mane, gets a great goal, lovely finish. Um, uh, it's not his best game ever, I'll, I'll, give, him a, I'll give him a... Oh, I don't really do half points. Um, I'll give him a seven. Uh, maybe that is low, but I uh, guess it's gone. I mean, he's, he's actually coming into good form now. He's starting to score regularly. Obviously, that, that hat trick in Porto did him the world of good, and he's scored in back to back games at Anfield now, so wonderful stuff. Long may that continue. Salah on the other flank uh, was actually terrific. I'll give him an eight out of ten. Um, the, the last sort of ten minutes, he was just sort of playing up front on his own. and. Should have had that, that free kick or penalty at the end and that the crowd booed at full time as a result of it, which was something you rarely hear when you win 2-0 in a routine manner against Newcastle at home. But the referee doesn't give it. Uh, but Sally, hey, just an absolute nuisance. Um, end product wasn't 100% there, as, as, as was the case with all of us today, really. It wasn't a clinical Liverpool display. But 
Scores again and levels it up with Harry Kane at the top of the Premier League goalscorer charts. Takes it to 32 for the season, which is what Suarez got in his incredible 13-14 campaign. Uh, it's 32 and 38 for Salah, which is absolutely ludicrous. Firmino, um, sensational assist for Mane. Great work throughout the game. Uh, I'll go and give him an 8 out of 10 as well. Why not? Um, love Bobby. Gets rightly, rightly... Um, you know, so, songs are plenty, or you know, the, the Bobby Firmino chant is, is so so often. Liverpool fans just really appreciate everything he does. His work rate, his touch, his just flair, his creativity, his cleverness. He's just turning into one of the best strikers in the Premier League. I think he's probably top three, um, if you ask me. And yeah, I, I, I'll defend him to till the cows come home. Uh, the subs weren't really long, long enough. I mean, Milner does pretty well. Great block. Um, uh, I think it's about 75 minutes in, he, he makes a really important block in the penalty area. Um, 6 out of 10 for him. Matip doesn't come on long enough to make an impact. 5. Um, who else came on? Lalana. 6 out of 10. But yeah, really comfortable win for Liverpool. Happy, we're back in the second. And it's just, it's hard to really analyse everything too much straight after the game because it was just so, so simple. Uh, but we'll take that every single week. We'll take this all season long. We're unbeaten at Anfield in the Premier League this season. Long may that continue. And we go to Porto now. We go to Porto at home to, to see that tie out. And then it's a week and a half until the Champions League draw. And that is all I'm thinking about. Uh, we've got Old Trafford in the meantime. Boy, is it an exciting time to be a Liverpool fan. So subscribe to the channel if you're new. There'll be many more exciting videos than this when we have many more exciting games. This was routine, but I don't mind that whatsoever. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. And I'll see you next time.